really, the pace of how game one goes, whoever, you know, can just take control in the beginning, keep center stage, will we'll be the one mm -hmm. who can probably take this for game one. And right now, like you see, they'll have to really go up side, but I feel like something that he has to look out for, especially when he's at kill place and those nail up smashes on the stage, like FD, he has no ceilings to protect right. him, he has no platforms to sit under. If, like, like, Fox has a very clear kill, kill condition, I feel like. It's at, when you are a kill person, I am going to back kill you, or I'm going to nail up smash you. Those moves are just so, so reliable that um, even though Dill knows exactly what Odyssey might be going for, they're just like so consistent and they kill so early. Um, but yeah, right now, like Dill able to keep it relatively even right now. Odyssey grabbing the gyro. Yeah, ooh, not getting any mileage off of it because Dill able to grab it right back with his own dash attack. Good awareness from Dill right there, knowing that a reflector was going to come out. And ooh. that is going to be another key factor here. Knowing that Fox has a very vulnerable recovery and Rob has so many options when he's trying to edge guard you. Mm -hmm. So that could be a key factor into what whether or not Dill can seal these stocks. Ooh, ooh. and good reflector. Not going to connect there. Firefox will come into play, but good tech from Dill. Once again, oh, an oh, air dodge. Air dodge. Wow. So I think he was getting ready for the tech situation. If not, he thought he grabbed ledge. Unfortunate stock for Dill. But he will be able to <laughs> regain composure. Whoa. Huh. So it was kind of like a slow, laggy type moment right there where we didn't know if he was going to die or not. But what? Nevertheless, we're back to two stocks apiece. 29% of extra credit to work with right now for Odyssey. And the combo game right now. This is exactly what Odyssey wants. Run him Ooh, down, I bait him out. This. Like, like he's just like chasing him down. But I really also want to point out what Odyssey did earlier was fantastic. Where he grabbed Dill and then also waited. Where Fox doesn't get anything out of throws. Right. Fox has nothing out of throws. But he will get well, something out of the nair up, into up, up smash. smash. Beautiful wow. stuff from Odyssey, and that was a very, very convincing stock. Only 17% dealt on his second stock, and now he gets to play the game that he wants. He can play as patiently, knowing that he has nothing to worry about. Ooh. But as I say that, you just miss one time at How the ledge. early did he die? He died so early. He, he was that at least at lead. just wow. barely above 20%. Unfortunate stock for Odyssey when he seemed to be running away with this game one, but now that's vintage deal for you. You can never count out a player like him. And I feel like uh, the reason why like it might be like so difficult for Fox to get back to stage, it's not that... Oh my god! So instead that of killed the, off the side? Instead of the up smash, he decides to go for a forward smash. Wow. He went from dash attack into Nair into, I think, another dash attack and then the forward smash. If not, it's probably reverse, probably Nair, dash attack Nair. But either way, that was just something... That was if brilliant. You, that, yeah. that advantage state. He just strung. That's particularly why, like, a stage like FD is, like, so dangerous to go against Fox because he just ran him. He just, like, dragged him across the whole stage and then was able to finish it off. So I think that was an amazing play. I genuinely think that was really, really good for Modesty. Um, his advantage state was not over there, but I feel like Dill isn't going to make the same mistake twice. You see. Um, I think Dill is not going to want to take that right. back to FD, honestly. Um,. Right now, I'm. If I were Odyssey, um, I feel like a lot of the stages here might be a neutral pick, but I definitely don't want to be going to plat stages like Yoshi Story, of course, getting the ban on it as well. And Dill is going to opt for. Nevertheless, whatever stage he picks, he has to be careful with those mix-ups because Fox can do so many things off of his Nair, mm -hmm. off of the dash attack as well, and you see it right there. You would expect an up smash coming in from Fox, but that was just vintage and great awareness coming in from Odyssey to seal that stock with a forward yep. smash. And we are going to take things now to Smashville, a very, very smaller stage to work with, and with one platform right in the center of the stage. So, interesting pick for a character like Rob, who likes to play a, lot, a little bit more uh, zone of a zoner, but um, Dill knows what he's doing with mm -hmm. his character, so I cannot question it, but Ooh, as I say that, the I jab I love lock. that jab lock, and had Dill the eyed uh, in on that, he would have been able to get that uh, conversion off into back here, but Odyssey applying all of this amazing shield pressure, Dill has to be a little bit more careful when he's playing out of shield against it, because of course, almost everything that Fox does right. uh, is really, really particularly safe on shield like that. Um, right now, Odyssey stringing along so much damage. Odyssey ready to reflect that neutral B as well. I love all of what's hap all of what Odyssey is doing right now. And that first hit of the fire. Oh my goodness. And that's, that's still able to such come back. a beautiful recovery right there. And good awareness from Odyssey holding on to his jump and just recovering and his so well. His angle was perfect. 
where he wasn't too far off to the side where he won't snap and he wasn't too far vertically to right. the part where he would pineapple and again another I think there's a nail up smash coming off from Odyssey and right now already 35% wow yeah, which is absolutely insane like he went for the footstool I believe mm -hmm. uh, coming off with that or maybe if he um, after he was coming up maybe he was trying to get a back off right. well regardless um, Adi is just like yeah Dill's, Dill's just throwing out a lot of risky options and you know High risk does have high reward, but in this case, it just seems that there is no reward whatsoever for Dill, as he is taking up a lot of damage, and he doesn't seem to find an opening. Another up smash, just gonna miss it for 148. I think the up throw might have been enough. I'm not really. I think uh, Dill really just wanted to be super, super sure that this the up throw it. was going to kill, but the down oh throw and the up smash wasn't it. Um, I feel like maybe down throw up there would have been a better choice, but that is a little bit of a coin flip. Dill. Really, really great job leading the high recovery, the forward air, more than enough to take it out at 170%. Um, Odyssey literally came in with a statement to make. He is not backing down whatsoever. He, He's just finding all the answers, and although he's a little bit slightly off with his uh, confirms, you just see him going so strong, and if he misses, if he misses the first time, trust me, he is going to go for it the second time, and I you see right there, good, good awareness from Dill right there. Mm -hmm. And a little bit earlier, I feel like he got something he definitely did not intend to. Well, he got the reverse hit of his nail into an up smash, but that was the proper hit of the nail. Wow, really, really great job from Odyssey. Um, closing out the stock, and right now, this is Fox's playground. Heavyweight, low percent. I'm going to be getting up tilt, up tilt, you know. Able to get the throw. Couple of extra percentages with the laser. So Odyssey's like doing a great job of racking up the damage here at low percent in such a safe way. Oh my, what? He died. Ooh, he was not expecting that at all. Like, Dill had the strong lead that he was going to just roll and jump into that. And he guessed right. Rewarding his amazing commitment with the stock there. But he overcommitted to the uh, to the reflector there, getting himself dash attacked by uh, Odyssey. And right now, this is very, very scary for Dill. 94%. I don't think Nail Up Smash is going to kill, but it's still equally, like, it's still frightening. Yeah, whatever gets thrown out from Odyssey, you never know what's going to happen. It is a coin flip, like you mentioned before. He can do Nair into Up Smash, even a forward smash. You've seen Odyssey go for a lot of stuff, and in that case, it was a Nair to Up Smash. Not going to confirm for the kill, as you mentioned before, but, yeah, but one back, back air. Not, not enough to take it quite yet, even on Smashville. Wow, did not only to mention Dills and Pekka will be the DI, but this is where a little bit of the heavyweight privilege comes in. You're going to be living at percents like that. Ooh. He and wasn't not opting to go for it this time. Interesting. He didn't feel like it was going to connect. It's a little bit too high of a percent. I'm really surprised that he made that back, but he was still able to make it back regardless. This is very scary. Edge guarding. I love the way Odyssey is playing around. I love the bait and I love the option come from Odyssey. Unfortunately, he's not going to seal the stock, but it does take one back air to solidify it. 2 0 Odyssey in what seemed to be a runaway, but Dill just kept his full composure. <laughs> Dill kept good his stuff full composure, him. but yep. I think, regardless, the way Odyssey was just keeping his momentum throughout that set was almost completely impeccable. Right. Like his, he. I don't think his advantage state was perfect, but I do love the way he treated it in the sense that he wasn't going as for as many 50-50s because he didn't want to be knocked off. He didn't want to be put into disadvantage, so he was going for everything that he knew would connect, and he did a great job of following up on it. He had like all the technical execution when he needed with the nail up smash. You saw at the higher right. percent that he didn't go for the nail up smash because he didn't want to be punished for it because he was just a little bit unsure if maybe he'd fall out of it, maybe this is not the percent for it, choosing to close out the stocks with back air instead. So, Odyssey, amazing job. This is the first time I think he's beaten uh, Dill 